Hey guys, here in your one and I'm talking about the PS5, this time about the launch and backwards compatibility. Because Eric Lempel said, a big pillar of our company is innovation. It's a pillar of Sony Corporation and it's also a pillar of the PlayStation company. We are always trying to push the boundaries of play. We want to excite gamers and deliver new experiences. In many cases, we can't take everyone with us from previous consoles because you need new hardware and devices. So what does that mean to me? I just feel like it means that certain games won't be. Like, remember when Microsoft went up from Xbox 360 to Xbox One? Not every single Xbox 360 game was backwards compatible. I think some were added later in updates, but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure some still aren't backwards compatible. And I think that's what Eric Lempel means here, that some games will be, some games won't be. And it kind of is bad, I guess, for people who want to play their PS4 games on their PS5 if you happen to have a game that won't work on the PS5 because he didn't, he wasn't specific about like this list of games will work on it, this games won't. It just seems like maybe some PS4 games will not work on the PS5. Now it could also mean because of the, remember the rumor that like it was gonna play PS2, PS3 and PS1 games? Yeah, he could just be saying, no, that's not gonna happen. Maybe it's just PS4 backwards compatibility only. I'm not sure exactly what he meant because he did say previous consoles. He used the plural version. He didn't say previous console. So he could mean that. And it could just be that all PS4 games will be backwards compatible, but no PS3, PS2, or PS1 games will be backwards compatible. I don't know. Maybe it just means even if that rumor was true that PS5 will be able to play some PS3, PS4, PS2, and PS1 games, that all the games won't be available to play on the PS5. I don't know. But I really do think that they will be at least backwards compatible for the PS4, basically with all games, even if they have to leave a few out. But what do you guys think about this statement? Do you think that he actually meant that some PS4 games won't be able to play on the PS5? Or do you just think that he meant that the, all those PS3 and PS2 and PS1 games won't be backwards compatible on the PS5? Or do you think he meant something completely different that I didn't even discuss? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and may God bless you all.